We got another package. Am I ever gonna stop throwing them across my desk? Honestly, I don't know. Anyways, inside this package should be an iPhone 12, 64 gigabyte red that I got my hands on for $100. Well, technically 106, but we're just gonna call it 100. Anyway, I was scrolling across eBay and spotted this and just couldn't pass it up. And from what I can tell, the only issue is a bloated battery, which is of course causing the phone not to work. So I picked it up as there's no iCloud account tied to it with hopes that I will be able to put the working battery that is inside of my old iPhone 12 Pro housing inside of this iPhone 12 that I bought. And just in case the screen that is super puffed out is non-functioning, my good iPhone 12 Pro right here has a functioning screen that just has a tiny OLED dot. Anyways, without further ado, let's open up this bubble mailer. Here we have the iPhone 12. Thank you for your purchase. Please leave only five stars and positive feedback. Yada, yada, yada. Anyways, here is the iPhone 12 and we can go ahead and unwrap it. Now, at first glance, this iPhone 12 doesn't even look that bad. You can see the back is pretty badly cracked and the screen is of course cracked as well, but here's where you can really see that battery popping out. Now, it definitely does have some pretty severe wearing all across the phone, but honestly, not bad for what I paid for it. Now, I'm gonna do something pretty stupid and take the risk of connecting this phone to a power source and just hope it doesn't blow up. As you can see, we have an Apple logo, and from what the seller told me, the phone just boot loops, which would be the cause of that bloated battery. Now, once the Apple logo shows up again, I can confirm that it's the battery by removing the charger, and you can see the Apple logo immediately turn off. Now that I know it's the battery, let's go ahead and get the battery out of my destroyed iPhone 12 Pro and put it into this iPhone 12. Let's get started. Okay, so first step to getting a new battery into this iPhone 12 is gonna be simply opening up my iPhone 12 Pro and taking the battery out. Now the battery inside of here is still functioning. This is just a destroyed frame with a destroyed screen and some small parts in it with a working battery that I pulled out of the housing that I bought when I fixed my iPhone 12 Pro a little while back. Now, since this iPhone 12 Pro doesn't even have Penelope screws or even the entire bottom of the phone, I can simply lift up the screen with my fingers, open up the phone, and remove the battery as there is no logic board inside of here. Now I've just gotta hope that this battery still works. We'll put my sad iPhone 12 Pro back together and add it back to my pile of destroyed iPhone housings. Now that we have this battery out, it's time to take apart our $100 iPhone 12 and put this battery inside of here, charge it up, and see how the phone works. Let's get started. Upon opening the phone, we're greeted with a very clean looking iPhone 12, considering what the outside of the phone looks like. Now, as you can see, that battery is severely swollen and is most definitely the cause of what's going on with this screen popping out. Thankfully, as you saw when I charged the phone, the screen is not broken, so I will not need to steal the one off of my good iPhone 12 Pro. Instead. now have a very clean looking iPhone 12 with nothing but a really bloated battery, which is not even squishy, which is really concerning, I'll be honest. And I opted to go ahead and remove the screen just to make it a little bit easier on myself while removing the battery. And you can see how this screen is permanently bent thanks to this bloated battery. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this old battery out and put the new one in. Now I have the new battery in the phone and you can really see how thick this old battery is now. Now, since it was so bloated, it actually allowed me to just pry it out without removing the adhesive, which was really nice, which really sped up the process. 
Now I have not put all the brackets and screws back into place yet. I'm gonna do that after I confirm that everything has gone successful with the repair. But first, I would like to go ahead and see if this battery has enough charge to display that the phone is dead. And it looks like it does not. So let's go ahead and plug it into a charger and let the phone charge up. But before I cut the video, let's just make sure it doesn't only show an Apple logo. I've never been that relieved to see a charging logo. 20 minutes later. All right, the phone has turned on to a six digit passcode screen. And of course, I do not know the passcode and the seller does not either. But now that I know that it works, I'm gonna go ahead and fully put it back together with all the shields and stuff that it typically has. And then I'm going to look into and see if there are currently any methods to factory reset an ARM 64E device, which is the iPhone XS and later, without updating the iOS version, as I honestly can't remember if there's a way to do that. So, so let me just go ahead and finish this. Now I've gotten the phone completely put back together and you can see it's on the lock screen just like it was before. And now after looking back on my calendar, I noticed as I noticed that the date is still preserved as most likely the last time this phone was used, I went ahead and checked and the last time that November 9th fell on a Thursday was 2023. So I am assuming this phone is running iOS 17. I am gonna look and see if there is a way to reset it in case it is on iOS 16, as I can't remember how to check on devices this new, but nonetheless, I am gonna end up getting it reset. But first I need to do some research. Five minutes later. Okay, so after a little bit of research, as I originally assumed, there is no way to reset it, and it's most likely on iOS 17. I did not take the time to figure out how to check. Now this phone is find my iPhone off, and that's the entire reason I bought it. Now there are two possible reasons that Find My iPhone could be off in the first place. One, the original owner simply never set up an Apple ID or Find My iPhone. Or two, when they lost the phone, they remotely erased it and disabled Find My iPhone. In the case of them remotely erasing it, I'm going to insert an active SIM card and just take a look and see if when it connects to Verizon, if it will start erasing. Never mind. This is a T-Mobile phone. I clearly forgot about that. All right, well, as neither of those ended up working out, I'm just gonna be resorting to restoring the device to factory settings and updating it to iOS 17.4 as it's likely already running iOS 17. I've gone ahead and downloaded the IPSW. Now, all I need to do is connect the device in recovery mode and restore it using Finder. To enter recovery mode, I can press, I can press and release volume up volume down, and then hold the power button until the phone enters recovery mode. Now that the phone is in recovery mode, we can go ahead and click cancel here, hold the option key and click restore, and select the IPSW file that I've downloaded on my desktop. This will erase the phone to 17.4, and we can go ahead and start it. And now we just wait about 10 minutes, and the phone should be brand new and ready to set up. Here we have the iPhone 12 completely reset, and I find it kind of weird that it is displaying iPhone lock to owner, as when I run an IMEI check, which I did just now after resetting it, the iCloud lock is still showing as off. Nonetheless, we're gonna go ahead and try to set it up and see how things go. I'll need to connect to Wi-Fi, and now we just pray that the phone activates. As you can tell, the phone did activate just fine. 
I was definitely a little bit scared there. I'm going to be 100% honest. We'll go ahead and continue setting up the phone for myself. And let's test out Face ID. It looks like Face ID is fully functioning. And we'll test it out once we set the phone up. I'll just do all zeros for my passcode, as I'm not planning to keep this phone anyway. We're not going to transfer anything, and we'll just go ahead and skip the Apple ID. We'll agree to the terms and conditions, updates, iMessage, location services. We can set that up later, and I don't care about Siri. I'll just skip through everything, as I honestly don't care. And like most people, I prefer dark mode. Now we'll get started. And you can see we have an important battery message, of course, as I did put a different battery into this iPhone 12. But we'll go ahead and check out the About section, and you can see we now have an iPhone 12 running iOS 17.4, 64GB model, which is locked to T-Mobile. And I do also want to see if we have the original screen, and it appears that we do, so that's definitely a bonus. Overall, this has been quite a fun video to make and a successful repair and resurrection of a broken and neglected iPhone 12. I'm really happy with how this repair turned out and having this battery message opposed to the phone not working at all is definitely a plus. So what am I gonna be doing with this phone? If you check out my eBay page at the link in the description or up in the top right right now, you'll see this phone listed on eBay with a starting price of $195 with offers. I'm willing to go lower, but that's just where I'm starting. So if you'd like to purchase this iPhone 12, Check out my eBay and snag it before anyone else does. Anyways, that just about wraps this up. But if you're new here, please consider subscribing as, as of right now, only a mere 20% of my viewers are actually subscribed. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button as it will greatly help me in reaching my goal of 4,000 subscribers. Anyways, thank you guys so much for the support on my newest videos. I really appreciate it as this was my childhood dream to run a YouTube channel. Anyways, enough yip yapping. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, Peace out, guys.